Part of our 2023 North Dakota Lions All-Star Basketball Series player profile joined us from the Central Cast Squirrels. That is DeConte Smith. And uh, DeConte, what does it mean for you here uh, to get nominated to an All-Star uh, festivity just like this for the Lions Basketball Series in your senior season here, DeConte? Um, it, it means a lot to me because I've been watching the Lions All-Star Games for a couple of years now. And um, it's just an honor to be able to get that recognition say recognition and be able to play for my school one more time and like my coach as well yeah and let's talk about your coach your school the whole nine yards a pretty a tremendous senior season to say the least to bring the first the state title uh down to central cast so uh, is that the favorite basketball memory of all time is it something prior to that d when it comes to my what's one of your favorite basketball memories here uh for central cast i have a lot of favorite basketball Oh, memories but I mean that one for sure is like my top one but like I don't know all, all the um shenanigans that we went through like the week but like the couple days before state we had to stop in Devil's Lake and we stayed there for a night and I don't know, like that whole entire weekend was awesome and practices were very like very fun as well so those would probably be all my favorite memories you're heading to Northern State to continue to play collegiate hoops. Uh, just kind of what made Aberdeen, South Dakota, DeConte the right fit, both from a athletic but also an academic standpoint here to play D2 NSIC women's basketball? Um, The decision was was hard because I was in between schools, and um, that one just stuck out the most. Um, coach was phenomenal. Campus was awesome. Um, and I just – mean the like having con the connection with my um coach just made it like stand out and that's why it was very easy and hard to like decide at the same time so yeah and let's talk about your coaching staff here for your high school at uh, Jay Bachman and company uh what have you kind of learned from them and what do you hope to take from them moving forward you know to northern state um i learned so much from them um they are awesome coaches uh, so they literally like always tell us like we got to work through the like it's it's a journey it's it's a, not a sprint it's a marathon like we need to get through each game and take everything personal um I don't know they've said a lot of things I can't I don't really remember <laughs> And for you to have, you know, Claire Cotton as well being nominated to this event, uh, how fun is that to kind of have another squirrel, another teammate for, you know, one more week, uh, kind of reliving the glory days of high school a little bit here? Um, I'm so excited to play with Claire one more time. I kind of wish, you know, honestly, my selfish of me that I would want my like whole entire roster out there. But um, I'm really excited to play with Claire. Claire. She's a great player and has really good energy. So playing with her one more time is going to be awesome. We'll end on some fun ones here for DeConte. Uh, favorite class of all time. Uh, what would be DeConte's favorite class when it came to whether it's elementary all the way up through a high school here? Um, I hope this Matt Norman doesn't see this. Um, <laughs> so my favorite class right now, I would say, and since like elementary, probably art and like, I'm not taking a PE class, but PE is definitely a, like one of the best ones too. Yeah. Um, is there a particular player outside of Claire that you're looking forward to, you know, being on your team for a week? You know, it's always fun because some rivals become teammates for a week or someone from out West that you never get to play now becomes, you know, a part of the squad for a week here to Conte. So when you saw the roster, is there anybody that you're looking forward to, you know, playing with for a week and have a couple games? Um, I'm excited to play with my roommate, um, Mikkel Heidelbach, um, because I don't know playing against her, I was like, oh my gosh, like she's a uh, she's good, like she was really good, and she is still really good. Um, so I'm excited to play with her and just to like kind of see what like the both of us can do like right away instead of waiting until season time. And um, I'm also excited to play like with um Ellie Polwell. We're also, I'm also pretty close friends with her. So um, playing with her will be also really fun. And I don't know, the rest, the roster is really good. So everyone that's playing, I think it's going to be awesome playing with them.
And you mentioned Heidelberg, fun story. Both of you guys are heading to Northern State, so that'll be really cool to see and, and yeah. talk about as we get to the uh, basketball series. Final thing for you, DeConte, superstitious. Were you as a team or as an individual superstitious at all before you got to a basketball game, or was it let's just get to the opening jump and, you know, play some hoops? Um, I would say I am pretty superstitious, only because I wear the same undergarments every game, same socks every game. Um, I roll my socks the same way every game. Um, Coach Bachman ties my shoes every single game. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, yes, I could. I would say so. <laughs> hey, uh, DeConte, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck here in the coming uh, Lions basketball series and best of luck at Northern State coming up in the fall as well. Thank you so much, Chase.